Yay! <clears throat> I am so, so excited for the next update to ZBrush. One great thing, one fabulous thing about Pixelogic is they keep updating their um, newest release. Like, free of charge. So you uh, you probably have to buy the fifth version, but then they come out with three other very, very sophisticated uh, updates to that version. So anybody who bought the latest um, release, three, four, or five, would be able to get those um, updates, no charge. That is really, really, really nice. ZBrush has changed the way I... Uh, there was a video, um, Death to Box Modeling. Uh, I, I don't know. It, it, it's hard for me to use any other program besides ZBrush because in other programs you let's see um, well there, there's only so much you can do with um, other programs when you can uh, freely make whatever you want to in <clears throat> these programs and I'm really really liking I, I'm so excited for the next. I'm, that's why I made this video. I'm going to try and model a um, fancy figure that I could apply hair to, like in uh, ZBrush for 2B. Is it? I, I don't know. Um, fiber, hair fiber. It's, uh, it, it's wow. You. Take a model, and then you just apparently there's a whole palette for hair that you can just you know I want this to be hair. So just like in, in ZBrush, you'd have these little teeny uh, pieces of hair that you can manipulate very easily in real time. It looks very, very sophisticated, so I'm <clears throat> going to make a quick model that I will um, apply the hair to. <clears throat> okay, so right now I don't have anything besides this sphere. I need to draw out what I was thinking about making. Probably we um I don't know some type of um um I don't know I'll I'll just see what happens fancy <clears throat> think what is this going to be uh, I, I really like the clay brush <clears throat> it's a great tool to Pull out geometry. <clears throat> and then when that happens, and you're oh this this is looking nice. I've got no worries in the whole world. Yeah, that that really sucks. <clears throat> when that happens, I use the inflate brush. It seems to work. Okay, and then hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's cool. 
Okay, select feather invert. Holy crap, that is pretty long. <clears throat> One nice thing about ZBrush is um, you don't really have to have anything to create anything. Um, <clears throat> any type of um, like uh, here, just to normally you'd want to. It's it's probably ideal to start out with a figure that looks like something like this. Looks like an egg. Looks like somebody's body now. <clears throat> okay, pull up the stomach, chest, uh, pot belly. <clears throat> okay. Buttocks. Remash. Okay. Legs up. Too big a brush. Okay. Um. Probably wait, no. Remash. Remesh, remesh, then pull, remesh, okay, that, that's good, <clears throat> then shoulders, Excited for ZBrush! Yay! Okay. Too many Twinkies. <clears throat> um. Let's see. And then let's give our figure spine too big. Okay, that should work. Okay. And then move. Ah. Okay, that's looking good. And then chest. Hmm. Now let's see, do I want 10,000 views or 80,000 views depending on whether I make a male character or a female character? <clears throat> um, I don't know. We'll see. I 
think the figure of a female character would look a lot nicer. A male character you could, you know. And... Mesh and... You know. Now that, that would be a male character, but... I think... I might go for a female... <clears throat> figure just because it will be more artistic and look a lot nicer and stuff like that. Small stomach. back. Urgh, big yawn. Okay. <clears throat> Mesh. Beginning of the prettiest neck in the world. <clears throat> Then, gentle, gentle uh, shoulders. No, nah, that's way too much. Remash. <clears throat> um, on pits. a little bit of smoothing. A little more probably. Nice. Okay. What else? Okay. Inner, outer. Okay. So this would be about halfway. <clears throat> so mm. the intensity is probably too much. The mesh. <clears throat> Shoulders. Uh, I think I'll use it layer. Whoa. Snake hook brush. That's cool. 